The price of the Redmi Note 11 is £199 in the UK, making it one of the cheapest phones on the market at the moment. That low price is one of the key selling points for this handset and secures it a place in our list of the best Xiaomi phones. Take a look at the Redmi Note 11 and you wouldn't think it's a budget phone that costs as little as it does. It feels light but well constructed in the hand, the matte plastic backing is comfortable to the touch and feels more premium than we expected it to, and even the rear camera bump is tastefully handled. At a mere 8.1 mm thick, this is more svelte than a lot of the budget phones that have crossed the Tech Radar Review's desk, and all the curves and ridges on this phone are tastefully and thoughtfully positioned. If you'd rather have a phone that pops a bit more, you can get the Redmi Note 11 in pearl white and star blue, but for us, it's the gray color that's the most appealing. With a 6.43-inch display, the overall dimensions of the phone are, that's 6.3 inches x 2.9 inches x 0.32 inches, and it weighs in at 0.39 pounds. The volume buttons and power button are on the right as you look at the phone, and there's a serviceable fingerprint sensor built into the power button. Xiaomi has excelled itself with the 6.43-inch AMOLED screen on the Redmi Note 11. The color temperature can be adjusted too. The Redmi Note 11 comes with a quad-lens rear camera made up of a 50MP wide lens, an 8MP ultra-wide lens, a 2MP macro lens, and a 2MP depth lens. That's not to say it's bad, exactly, in decent lighting. You'll get snaps that are more than good enough for social media most of the time, and occasionally you'll get a really impressive shot or two. It's in the details that the camera starts to let itself down, with features like focus and HDR, not quite as good as they are on the mid-range or flagship phones, that you'll have to pay more for. As you can see from the camera samples below, certain areas can get muddy, and colors can be a bit drab, especially when you're out taking pictures in the middle of February in England. Budget phones of this price are rarely capable of taking great photos at night, and the Redmi Note 11 continues this tradition. If there's no or very little light available then you probably won't get the photo you're looking for, even with the night mode switched on. We don't want to be too negative about the cameras on the Redmi Note 11, but this isn't a phone for people who need a camera they can rely on. The Redmi Note 11 has specs befitting its price. Under the hood you get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 processor, 4GB or 6GB of RAM, and 64GB or 128GB of internal storage. Of course, switching between screens and apps isn't going to be quite as slick as it is on an iPhone 13 or Samsung Galaxy S22, but then again you're paying a lot less for the hardware, so it depends where on the price versus performance spectrum you want to be. The Redmi Note 11 was able to run all of the apps and games we tried, while barely skipping a beat, although the benchmarks aren't particularly impressive. On Geekbench 5 the device scores 377, single core, 1625, multi-core, and 442, optimal. In terms of software, you've got Xiaomi's MIUI 13 software running on top of Android 11, which is fine up to a point. It has some quirks that we're not particularly fond of like different actions, depending on whether you swipe down on the left or right of the screen, and an extra screen when installing apps, but overall it's polished and useful enough. If the performance isn't quite top-notch on the Redmi Note 11, the battery life is certainly among the best we've seen on a smartphone lately. We watched an hour of video streaming at a low volume and maximum brightness, and it only knocked the battery down by 5 percentage points, which is impressive. As is to be expected from an affordable phone like this, there's no wireless charging with the Redmi Note 11. Some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it to